Hello friends, please don't skip this video because you're gonna get many new tips on how to learn English. Uh, I'm the persistent. Persistent? Persistent? Yes. Consistent. Consistent. Yeah. I really liked all the um, things that you said. Some of some of the things that you said are really like wow. Like even adults don't speak that oh, way. So it's beyond your age. <laughs> I have really personal life. I can do anything I want without anyone knowing yes, about. Absolutely, that's a good honest <laughs> answer. Ah, I like it also, too. Also, since uh, you have a bit of an accent, it might get difficult for the other person to understand you. Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Do you love celebrities? And who are the celebrities? Other celebrities that you love? Um, I do love celebrities. I uh, I personally like the singer. Uh, mm -hmm. My favorite singer is Taylor Swift. Have you heard about her? I really like her. She's a great singer. She's one of my favorite singers, and I'm very Eilish. I also love her, but I'm I don't listen much of her music. Um, and uh, uh, Selena Gomez. I love her music as well. And uh, um, I'm not able to remember their names right now. Just okay, you people. like a lot of uh, pop music. Your yes, genre I'm very is much pop. interested into that. Okay, okay. And you know that celebrities have like a certain influence in our lives. Everyone in yeah. general, kids as well as adults. So, yeah. what do you think? What's your opinion? Is it good? Is it bad? What do you think of their influence on us? How do they influence us? Um, maybe they influence us like the successful ones. They influence us to be uh, motivated and get some talent or maybe something. And mm -hmm. be successful in our life with the help of your talent, and um, they teach us to that we can be anything if we want, and we have the if we have the hard work, the consistency, the um, perseverance, and everything, we can achieve our goals. And I don't think that there are some bad uh, influences on us because they teach us the good things. I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you know that celebrities earn a great deal of money, right? Yeah. Do you think it necessarily means that they are leading a very happy life? Um, uh, I don't think so because uh, leading a happy life means having a good wealth, a good family, a good relationship with your parents and relatives, and etc. etc. Mm -hmm. So if you only have money and you don't have good relationships with your uh, family. So it, uh, I cannot say that it is a successful life. Uh, a successful life means that you have a balance in everything. Mm, you are wise beyond your age. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, to what extent is the price that they pay for being famous? Um, maybe their uh, help because they practice a lot. They have to work, I think, 15 to 16 hours in a day. They don't get much sleep. They have to work a lot. So that's True. something. And they also have to deal with the media. They always ask them questions. They always annoy them. And they like, uh, whenever they go, they take pictures of them. They cannot uh, go really anywhere. People troll them. So that's a thing that can hurt their, uh, they, that can hurt them. So that's a thing. And how is your life different from this, in this whole aspect? Um, I can go anywhere freely. No one is going to disturb me or annoy me. I can sit uh, peacefully in a park bench, but they cannot. There will be media, there will be fans, they will, they will be asking for photos, questions, and etc. Uh, I can go to any food store and have anything I want, but they cannot because they have a particular status that they have to maintain. You have to go to branded restaurants, not branded, like famous and good restaurants, even though they don't like them, but they have to go there because it, they have to maintain their status. So that's a difference. And uh, they also have like, they don't have like a personal life. Most of the fans know everything about them. So that's not, uh, that's not a good thing. But uh, I have really personal life. I can do anything I want without anyone knowing about it. Then would you like to be a celebrity? Definitely, yes. Definitely, yes. 
uh, because um, I want to become a celebrity because of the money that I will get. <laughs> yes, absolutely. That's a good, honest answer. And uh, what do you end up daydreaming about? You know, let's say you're a celebrity. How do you imagine your life to be? I I imagine my life to be amazing. What are the things? What are the activities? What do you daydream about usually when you're just sitting? Uh, I just dream about uh, going on TV shows, performing on uh, stages, uh, talking to famous people, going on famous events, uh, having a lot of money, living in a great house, having so many cars, having good dresses, like really very branded ones, and branded stores, and everything. Um, having a lot of fans, and what else? E- eating anything I want. Uh, even though it's <laughs> I can eat them. Okay, you really like tasty food, don't you? Yes, I'm a foodie. That <laughs> Very good to know. I like food too. <laughs> okay. Same way, um, I had a couple think... of spicy food like samosas and rubbery also. Uh, which one, rubbery? Rubbery, yeah, rubbery. Ah, I like it too. I like yeah, samosa, yeah. but not that much. But yeah, I like it. So yeah. you had it. You had it today. Yes. Is that why you're very happy? Maybe. <laughs> okay, very well. Uh, which is the other dish you would like to have? Do Do you cook? No, I know nothing about cooking. Would you like to learn, or you just would like to eat? I would like to learn the basics, uh, like making maggi, making rice, dal, and uh, a few sabjis. I don't want to go into that professionalism of making biryanis, pulao, <laughs> everything. <laughs> because uh, I, I, I just want to learn cooking because of if, if I get into an emergency situation where I have to cook on my own, so I should know something to cook. I should, <laughs> I, I should not be in a situation that I'll have to starve. Um, I just want to know hmm. a few basic things, and that's all. Hmm. Because it's a life skill, so it's necessary yeah. to learn at least a bit of it, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you think a celebrity should publicly share the social work that they do? Um, it's their choice. If they want to, they can. And if they don't. They cannot. Do you think we give too much attention to celebrities? Yes, we definitely do. Like, uh, I, I have seen people who know everything about the celebrity they like. Uh, like the, uh, the food they like, um, where, uh, what type of dresses they wear, like with brands, everything. So that's not good. Um, I think that... Uh, I didn't watch the question. I forgot the question. Okay. Do you think we give too much attention to celebrities? Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, I think that fans give a lot of attention to these celebrities. They uh, that's why celebrities have to stay be careful uh, while doing anything in front of the cameras and everything because every uh, their every move will be recorded and fans will be giving attention to them a lot, even to the smallest details. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And, and why do you think? Yes. I'm sorry. What? Yes, you were saying something. And oh, I forgot what I was saying. Okay, I was asking you that. Uh, why do you think uh, gossip um, about celebrities is so um, popular and consumed by the masses? Why do we like to know each and every move of the celebrity? Celebrity went to the gym. This actress went ate this food. Why do we want to know? Um, because uh, to be honest, everyone is not satisfied with their life because they want to achieve something better than what they are right now. Uh, so they want to be a perfect type of life that the celebrities have. You know, they have a perfect life in front of the camera, so we all think that they have a perfect life, but we we all don't know that what's behind the camera. So we just want to see a perfect life, uh, their lifestyle, and the mm-hmm. perfect things that they do. So that's why people give a lot of attention to these things. Mm-hmm. I I do agree with you that it's because uh, it it helps people go into a fantasy land at least for yeah. a 
bit of a moment right yeah okay if you could influence people like a celebrity does how would you use this opportunity in the best way um i would like to give the opportunity as uh, um everyone is unique and we all have their talents so uh, you should never think that you are useless because um i don't know i just want to say this that everyone is unique and you have many talents and you can do anything you want in your life if you do some hard work and have uh, and be persistent 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 what yes. is that word consistent consistent yeah <laughs> if you are consistent and you have the determination to do the thing and you have to build in that quality and you can achieve anything you want in your life uh, you should not like blindly follow your parents and like be forced by them to do something if you want to become something else you can definitely uh, be something else mm-hmm. okay that's one thing i'd like to influence Okay that's a good thing you want to motivate others to pursue their dreams without comparing yeah. themselves to others or demeaning themselves right yeah okay do you think that there's a relationship between beauty and being a celebrity um beauty and being a celebrity um, no i don't think so because uh, i think that everyone is beautiful and if a uh, celebrity also Uh, include in everyone so they are beautiful and everyone beautiful so being a celebrity does not like have a relation with being beautiful in my opinion mm-hmm. okay brilliant i really liked all the um things that you said some of some of the things that you said are really like wow like even adults don't speak that way so uh, mm-hmm. it's it's really good the perspective that you have on certain um aspects you know um yeah. the few suggestions that i would like to give you um wo- are not grammatical cuz your grammar is fine it's good for now okay so um although there might be a few mistakes then you know grammar is an endless process you can just go on improving and improving and improving yeah. but there are other aspects that i want to uh, want you to work on for example how to say one thing in multiple ways okay now when we are speaking we don't want our tone or um the way we speak to be so um so monotonous that we don't have idea on different speaking styles because yeah. you will meet different kinds of people and we cannot speak to everybody the same way right mm-hmm. yeah. so um one is to learn different ways of saying the same thing okay like if you if you're saying that um i cooked food today one grammatically active and passive voice the food was cooked by me today now this is a yeah. simple sentences but how will you say the complicated sentences in many many different ways some mm-hmm. in polite ways some in a little harsh ways some in diplomatic ways right okay. yeah. so one and the two would be the tone of the tone of your voice sometimes you need to modulate it be kind sometimes be polite sometimes um be otherwise sometimes you know so all kinds is required i like your tone right now it's good you're uh-huh. smiling and everything else it's really nice but it's good to learn the other ways you don't yeah. have to use it all the time but you have to learn it yes got it okay? okay so that and the third thing that sometimes very rarely uh, you tend to be a little fast which makes the pronunciation not very clear Yeah, you're right. I right? speak sometimes really very fast that even I don't understand what I'm saying. Yes, it it happens. Okay, I'm um, sorry. Um so so um for that sometimes when you find yourself too with you know mug muddled in too many thoughts, try yeah. to just slow down, take a deep breath and speak a few words, okay? So your yeah. pronunciation will be crystal clear. Yeah. Also since uh, you have a bit of an accent it might get difficult for the other person to understand you. Yeah, okay? you're right. Retain the accent, no problem. I I also have a bit of it, but uh if you have an accent you must go slower for the others, especially in India we don't have accents, right? So yeah. it, might get, it might get difficult for the other person. Yeah. Okay? So your thought process try to um slow it down sometimes. 
Hmm, got it. Otherwise, everything is good. Okay, you don't have to worry. I really loved speaking to you as much as I loved speaking to your mother. So, <laughs> it's it's a pleasure.